Few discoveries in particle physics have had as important an impact as the Higgs boson discovery in 2012. That discovery, however, was only the first glimpse of a particle that is crucial to our understanding of nature. In the decade that followed, uh, we have made progress on many parallel fronts in discerning the properties of the Higgs boson as well as studying its interactions with other particles. This was made possible by the excellent performance of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN and the committed efforts by many scientists from both the ATLAS and CMS experiments. The standard model of particle physics describes the fundamental particles and their interactions. The matter particles called fermions which are the building blocks of everything that we see around us, come in two types, quarks and leptons. The interaction between these matter particles take place via particles we call bosons. The standard model of particle physics has been enormously successful and by the time of the conception of the LHC, most of the particles it predicts have been confirmed experimentally except the Higgs boson, the, sp the particle responsible to give mass to the other particles. As the standard model predicts the existence of the Higgs boson, but not its mass, the search for this particle spanned decades. Finally, on the 4th of July 2012, the CMS and Atlas collaborations announced the discovery of a particle with a mass of around 125 GB, the Higgs boson. By the end of the first run of the LHC in 2013, Atlas and CMS have been able to observe interactions between the Higgs boson and photons, W bosons and Zad bosons by studying the K of the Higgs boson into pairs of these particles. There are also different production mechanisms of the Higgs boson of the LHC, and the most common production involves gluons. They are bosons of the strong force and they are responsible for finding the quarks inside the protons. By studying this mechanism, we can study the interaction between the Higgs boson and the gluons. At this point, the properties that we were able to measure match the prediction of the standard model, but by no means we have uncovered everything about the Higgs boson. At the beginning of run 2 of the LHC, spanning from 2015 to 2018, we still had a limited experimental view on the mechanisms by which the Higgs boson gives mass to the fermions. Atlas and CMS, by combining results, had just managed to directly observe the first Higgs interaction with fermions via the decay to talentons. One of our crowning achievements from Run2 was our ability to experimentally confirm the Higgs boson interactions with all three of the heaviest fermions, the top quark, the bottom quark, and the tau lepton. This was achieved much earlier than we had originally expected thanks to innovation on many different fronts. This strongly affirmed that our description of the Higgs boson interactions was accurate for all the particle types, and not only the bosons. Because it is vastly more likely for the Higgs boson to interact with the heaviest fermions, the mechanism by which the lighter fundamental fermions acquire mass is still experimentally largely unexplored. These light fermions include the up and down quarks and the electron, which are the building blocks of atoms. Understanding how the particles that make up everyday matter acquire their mass is fundamental to our understanding of the universe. Without the Higgs boson, the electron would be massless and the atoms from which we are built wouldn't exist. A huge achievement by CMS during Run 2 was the first evidence for a Higgs boson interaction with one of the lighter fermions, the muon. Although the muon is about 200 times more massive than the electron, this new measurement probed an energy scale of the Higgs boson interactions much closer to that of everyday matter. This result, achieved much earlier than we had originally expected, paves the way towards an exciting exploration of this newly probed interaction with the upcoming Run 3 data. Just this year, we had another breakthrough in our path towards better understanding Higgs boson interaction via yeah, the Higgs boson decaying to charm quarks a frontier that had not considered as reachable in the LGC. A recent uh, analysis uh, searching for uh, the Higgs decay into charm quarks has been carried out by CMS and it has demonstrated that we may be able to actually measure these uh, interactions at the LHC after all. Uh, with just a few percent of the data, uh, this search uh, managed to achieve uh, a reach uh, 
uh, comparable to what had recently been expected for the end of the high luminosity uh, LHC, 15 years from now. This was made possible by optimizing reconstruction algorithms for different types of events and by applying modern artificial intelligence techniques uh, such as graph neural networks uh, on a multiple front. If dark matter is composed of particles within a certain mass range, it's possible that the Higgs boson significantly decays into pairs of dark matter particles. This decay would leave the imprint of the production of the Higgs boson but with invisible uh, Higgs decay products. In order to look for these events, we have to understand the detector in great detail and to precisely measure multiple background processes that mimic the signature. We have managed to constrain these invisible decays to less than about 10% of all Higgs decays and we are now developing strategies to further outreach. We are also on the hunt for a rare per mil decay of the Higgs boson into a Z boson and a photon, which we should be able to see using the RAN3 data. The holy grail of the high luminosity LHC physics program is to measure the Higgs boson self interactions. The precise measurements uh, of the strength of this interaction has the implications ranging from the stability of our universe to the baryogenesis. This interaction contributes to the production of Higgs boson pairs, a characteristic experimental signature. However, Higgs boson pairs are notoriously rare, making the measurement of the Higgs boson self-interaction extremely difficult. Already in RAN2, we have come a long way in making this measurement possible, more than doubling our experimental reach with the same data uh, by innovating on many fronts. These efforts have paved the way towards measuring this elusive interaction at the LHC. The continued refinement of, of these searches will be a key priority for CMS in the next years. Despite the enormous progress made in studying the Higgs boson over the last 10 years, there's still much that we do not yet fully understand. The data is still to be collected in the next run of the LHC and its upgrade, the high luminosity LHC, will be key to this. We still have a long way to go and much to learn in our exploration for the Higgs sector.